Hi, I have now been taking 50 milligrams of iodine for 10 days in a row and I have noticed some very significant side effects. Most of them are quite similar to the side effects I've had all along except much stronger. The most obvious thing that's, that just seems to get worse all the time is that I'm doing everything really, really slowly. When I'm walking, I seem to be walking more slowly. When I'm doing a task, I seem to be doing it more slowly. Sometimes I find myself sort of just standing and thinking for a while as if I've got to get the cogs in my brain working before I can do the most straightforward task. A bit like pro procrastination. In the past, I've generally been someone who operates at quite a high speed level. I, I wouldn't say I was hyperactive in any way, but I, I, I've often been told that I walk fast. I quite often used to talk quite fast so that people couldn't understand what I was saying. Um, I probably thought very fast and had lots of things going around in my head at the same time. And that sometimes happens, but more often I just find that I'm slowing down in a lot of things that I do. My brain feels woozy a lot, especially when the detox, the detox, the detoxification process is going on. Sometimes you really feel as if your mind's swimming a wee bit. But once you do the salt loading, that goes away. I've noticed that I'm much more fatigued. Not today, today I'm feeling quite good, but during the past 10 days of taking 50 milligrams of iodine every day, I have been more fatigued at times. Sometimes it just suddenly comes on in the afternoon, I suddenly feel tired. And that's something that I hadn't experienced since I worked in an office. Last time I worked in an office was 2009, so that's seven years ago. And I sometimes used to get that afternoon lull. Since I stopped working in an office, that hasn't happened until the last 10 days. I felt fatigued every now and then, it just comes on. And I think that goes hand in hand with broken sleep. My sleep has been disturbed quite a lot and I've noticed that it's settling down. So I'm hoping that's the detoxification process taking place and maybe getting rid of toxins so my sleep gradually has got better but the first night that I, after I took 50 milligrams of iodine my sleep was significantly broken I fell asleep quite quickly and then I woke up a few hours later and I couldn't get back to sleep I think it was about four four in the morning I just could not get back to sleep and eventually I got back to sleep at about half seven and of course I just went into a deep slumber and I didn't wake until about 9.30 and when I did get up I felt so tired and that kept happening night after night for about three or four nights and each night that it happened I got less and less insomnia so it was obviously something that was wearing off gradually and I think it must have just been the detox dump you know, toxins into my bloodstream that did it. But because of that, I felt really tired during the day quite often. Um, I suppose I've had a bit of grumpiness associated with the tiredness, um, forgetfulness. Definitely I've noticed that I'm more forgetful than normal, which is quite something. My pulse has been very faint. When I've been taking my t pulse and my temperature, which I do three times a day, the pulse results have been significantly lower since I've been on the 50 milligrams of iodine and I think that's due to the detoxification and it's been gradually increasing but very slowly. But in addition to it being lower um, and the temperature being lower, I've noticed that my pulse is almost difficult to find some mornings. It's really, really faint. After about three or four days, it did come back more slowly, sorry, more, it did come back more strongly and then it started becoming faint sometimes, stronger sometimes. So that's something, a change that I've noticed. Uh, another thing, I've been eating more comfort food, in, mainly in the form of biscuits, a bit of chocolate, 
some sweets. And that's significant because about six months ago I just gave up sugar altogether because I'd noticed that I was really craving sugar. And that was something that I think went hand in hand with this whole underactive thyroid thing. So they got to a point that I just said, right, I'm going to give up sugar, <clears throat> hopefully stop these cravings. And I gave up sugar for <clears throat> six weeks. Apart from the odd piece of fruit I was eating, just really avoiding sugar altogether. And that really overcame the sugar cravings. And I just lost interest in sweets, which was great. Maybe I had I'd have a slice of cake at a weekend after I climbed a big mountain. But apart from that, just nothing. But I did notice that since doing taking 50 milligrams of iodine every day, um, I was going for the biscuit tin again. Not having loads and loads of biscuits, just sort of maybe one or two. Uh, my psoriasis returned immediately after taking the 50 milligram dose. I tend to get psoriasis on my head, patches of psoriasis. It makes it itchy and I get broken skin coming off. It's horrible. And that tends to happen when I'm under stress. And it comes and goes. When I have it, usually I have it for a few weeks or a few months at a time, and it's really annoying. I haven't had it for a while, but it came back, and I noticed it stopped. So it obviously just came back for a few days, and I'm hoping that's it gone now. Um, the eczema patch that I discovered a few weeks ago, that just disappeared within a day or two. So it's almost as if sometimes when you get this toxic dump, when you get the detoxification process dumps toxins into your bloodstream, then you get these flare-ups of past symptoms and then they, they just last a day or two and then they're gone, hopefully forever. And another thing that I've noticed is my dreams have become more vivid, which is great because I love having dreams. I love trying to interpret my dreams and I noticed that I wasn't dreaming as much. But in the last 10 days, my dreams have come back. So I'm hoping they'll get stronger. And they've been good dreams as well. No nightmares. There was a really very disturbing incident that happened yesterday. I have a phobia of spiders, which I've had all my life, ever since I can remember really, since I was about 10 years old. I think it started with being afraid of spiders' webs. <clears throat> when I was a child, I was really scared of spiders' webs, the way they stuck to you. And then I noticed that spiders stuck to you as well a little bit if they, if they got onto your arm. And I started being really terrified of them. And this has been an ongoing thing during my whole life, throughout my whole life. But over the years, I developed ways, strategies of dealing with spiders. And I've been living with them. I mean, I travelled around the world. I travelled to tropical countries where there were enormous spiders. And it wasn't terrifying at all. I usually don't mind being outside and seeing spiders. I don't like being in a room, especially a small room with them. But it's not something that I would say it killed me back in any way. I've lived in a lovely country cottage, you know, spiders everywhere, but I've <laughs> developed many ways of getting rid of them or living with them. And I thought I was getting better. I got to the stage where I could see a spider and get a bucket or a jar and put it in there, cover it up and take it outside and I felt relatively calm. Until yesterday. Yesterday I was cleaning and I noticed that there was dust behind the piano so I moved it away and this spider, I almost just saw it in my peripheral vision, shot out and I just, it's a reflex, I screamed and just ran out of the room. It was like reverting to when I was a teenager because I could not go back into that room. And it was, luckily I was on my own because it was so embarrassing. I was embarrassing myself. I was standing outside the room trying to go in and just couldn't, I just couldn't. And to be honest, I mean, I'm laughing at it now, but I was in a state. I just felt so completely wrought with anxiety. At the same time, as I was full of this terror and anxiety, 
I noticed that my head was absolutely swimming with dizziness. The type of dizziness I get when I'm having the detox symptoms. I had already done the salt loading process that day once. I'd have, I, yeah, I usually do it twice. So it was unsettling because I really felt so dizzy. It was almost as if seeing that spider and that anxiety produced had somehow triggered more of a, te of a toxic dump into my bloodstream. But on the, at the same time, that toxic dump seemed to be feeding the anxiety, which really fascinates me. It makes me think there maybe is a link between toxins going around your system and phobias and anxieties. It took me hours just to calm myself down. First of all, I'd left everything in that room, almost that I owned, everything that was important to me. My bag with my money, my keys, which were in the pocket of a jacket, and a bag which had the salt for my, the sea salt for my salt loading. So I knew that I'd have to go back in there to get my jacket with the keys and my sea salt so that I could go out and come back in. It took me probably the best part of an hour to calm myself down enough to go into the room and get my jacket and the bag with the sea salt. And then I actually went round to my mum's and she was out but I had the key for her flat so I just went in, did the salt loading process, drank loads and loads of water and I didn't really feel that much better. So I actually did it again straight away, drank more and more water. I still felt really, really woozy. And I, I was thinking as I was doing this that most people who do the iodine, high dose iodine protocol generally do something called pulse dosing where you take iodine for about five days and then you have a two day break from it but you still continue to take the companion nutrients and you continue to do the salt loading. And the idea of that is that you give your body a rest from the iodine so that the, the toxins can be flushed out of your system because they seem to build up the more iodine that you take. And that's not a bad thing, it's because you're, the more iodine you take, the more toxins are being knocked out and being knocked into your bloodstream. I only did this pulse dosing when I've been going on a big hill walk or something like that and I've needed the energy because generally when you take a rest you get a bit more energy for a, for a wee while. I hadn't been doing it as a regular thing and I think that's a mistake. So I'm going to start pulse dosing. I decided that I would leave it for a few days and continue to take the iodine and, and try and do the, take the holiday or the, do the pulse dosing so that I'm doing five days during the week and then two days off at the weekend because that's when I tend to go hill walking. And I think what had happened was that the, the iodine had been taking more and more and the toxins had just built up more and more in my system until it had got to this state where just the sight of a spider threw me into a total frenzy. So back to what happened yesterday, I was at my mum's flat and taking, drinking lots and lots of water, I'd done the salt dosing and still feeling, starting to feel slightly better. I had to use meditation to calm myself down eventually, just to relax. And I did start to feel better. Not completely better, I still had that worrying feeling of wooziness in my head. But eventually I thought, this is ridiculous, it's been four hours since I saw that spider. I went back and luckily, bit by bit, I was able to just get back into relaxation. And I didn't see it again, it must have run away somewhere, probably gone down a hole in the floorboards. But I was able to work around it, thank goodness for that. And I felt more and more relaxed as the evening went on, because that's how long it took me. It started in early afternoon, and it was evening before I felt back to any, anything that felt like normal. So, luckily, I did manage to get a good sleep. I slept for about eight or nine hours, so I'm still sleeping more. 
I didn't really have insomnia at all, which is a good sign. I think because I did the salt loading three times and I took so much water each time that I was going to the loo a few times during the night, but I, all in all I had a really, really good sleep and I woke up feeling great, really relaxed, so much better. So I'm now sitting in the room that had the terrifying spider in it and I'm not feeling scared at all. Not at all. I haven't even done the salt loading process yet because I felt so good. I don't feel the slightest bit dizzy or woozy or wobbly. And it's afternoon now. Usually I, I usually usually I start feeling a bit woozy after about two hours after taking the iodine. So I think that doing all that salt loading yesterday really did shift some toxins. And that's very encouraging. It's really encouraged me that this process is actually doing some good in the long run. So I'm going to keep at it and I will report back with my pro progress. Thanks for watching.